As some of you might know, Discord recently published a new feature called context menus. For those of you that don't know what it is, it's basically another way to trigger slash commands. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can exactly implement that into your VOD. So let's get straight into the video. Firstly, what we're going to want to do is actually import the module that we're going to be using called dis slash. Thank you to all the creators of it. Um, they implemented it really quickly. So yeah, and so I can actually make this video for you guys. And what all you're going to have to do is from dis slash import uh, asterisk. If you can, you can individually put it in. If you want to, you can do interaction client, but it's up to you. This is just a simpler, easier method. Now, in order to actually download it, we're just going to do pip install and actually dash dash upgrade just in case you've previously had this module and need to update it. This slash make sure it's like this. And as you guys can see, I already have it. It's just going to say ignoring validation and it already says I have the module this slash in order to actually use it. What we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to make um how do I say this basically another variable called interclient. Now you we can make this like interaction client and then pass in client. Now if you're using bot that can work too, just pass in bot here. Now this is actually really simple in order to make the command. What we're gonna be doing is just a simple resend command. So let's do it. You're gonna have the decorator called inter client. So whatever you called it. If you call this un inter underscore client, then you type it in on inter underscore client. Sorry, I'm um, confusing what I'm saying. Uh, dot message underscore command. And then we can call this name. I don't know. This is optional, by the way. This will just be a resend command I got from the docs. And now pass in guild for IDs. And I'll tell you guys why we need this in just a bit. So when you're actually dealing with interaction types, it could take up to an hour for it to actually register as an interaction type, meaning that you won't be able to actually use your command for an hour. In order to fix that, you can make guild IDs and just paste it in there. So then it will instantly start working. Then once you like, let's say you go to sleep, then you can remove that, run the bot and everything. And when you wake up, it should be over with. That's why. So put in, we'll get to that in a bit. But now we can actually do the command. And once again, it's just one line of code. We want to do async def, async def, uh, and then resend. Now we just want to pass it enter like so and i actually messed up sorry for all this i have a new keyboard so i'm getting still used to it now all we want to do is await enter dot respond something like this and then because you can ping everybody through this command just as a safety adding this add the tilde key is like so so it should look something like this add the f string also and then brackets and do enter dot message dot content. Now you can do multiple things with this, and this is just the first video getting used to it. Um, I will be uploading more videos on this after you know, like the library is more developed and it keeps on having. So like basically, you could do more things with it. You can still do more things with it. So. I do encourage you guys to test around and see wherever your creativity lands you. But this is what we're going to be doing in today's video because this is just a setup video. Now, your thing should look something like this. I mean, you don't need all of these modules, but it should look a bare minimum something like this. So what you want to do now is we want to grab the guild ID. How you do that is very simple. So wherever your guild is, so let's say this is my server link down below in the description you just want to right click on here and then click copy id if this doesn't show up you're going to have to go into your accessibility settings and turn on developer mode then it should shuttle show up 
now that you've copied the ID, all you want to do is paste it in here, like so. And if you have more IDs, comma, and then paste it in here, just like that. And last thing you're going to have to do is actually go into the developer portal and click your bot. After you do that, click over here, go to OAuth2, click a bot or whatever other one scopes you have, and then also click applications.commands and then add whatever permissions you'd like and then copy that and invite the bot back this is because you're gonna your bot needs to be able to create slash commands in order to do this if your bot cannot create slash commands then we have a problem so i just encourage you to do this or that and that may be a reason why yours is not working and just go ahead and run your command because then when we pop in back into our discord here we can just type in anything we want. So let's just say right now we just type this in. All you want to do is by the way, this only works for desktop and computer. So if you're on a mobile and you try holding it down and trying to click, get it, the context menu to work, it will not work. It is for desktop only. Sorry. And then just right click and you might notice apps. And I have my project glow here which is this bot, don't worry about that. We're doing Jerome. So we're just gonna hover over your bot or whichever bot yours is and click it. And that's literally it. It says budget glow used resend. And then, wow, context menus are really cool. Now you could type literally anything if I just spam my keyboard and then do apps, resend, it'll do the same exact thing. And because we put it in like this uh, code format, you wouldn't be able to ping anybody. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did, be sure to hit subscribe. It really helps out the channel. We're on the road to 900 subscribers. That's going to be it for today's video. This is Glowstick, and I'm out. See ya!